My name is Rachel Kleinbart. And some people still call me Yochaved. So my name is Yochaved. That's my first name and my middle name is Rachel. I grew up Orthodox Jewish in Brooklyn. I think the only thing I ever related to was music. I find music moving and when I do go to services, it's always um, somewhere where, where music is a big part of the service or the entire or we sing the entire service. Um, and I definitely feel moved by that. I definitely resented the dress codes. You have to cover up because the most significant thing about you is your sexuality and not what you're saying and not what you're doing and not what you're thinking. Um, so I definitely resented that. Growing up, it wasn't so much that there were things about the religion that I enjoyed or appreciated. It was more that that level of indoctrination never penetrated my brain. But the level of this is true and you will be punished and rewarded for every minute of your day, that sank in really deeply. So I believed that for a really long time and that's what made it difficult to leave. I was married when I was really young, and I, like during winter break of sophomore year. Um, and I guess I was becoming, maybe we started in the same place, but I was becoming less religious and he was becoming more. And so that brought things to a head. So I guess it wasn't until we separated and divorced that I started, you know, I immediately started dressing differently. And things like that were easy to move away from because I felt so clearly that that was wrong. Because there's so many parts of Judaism, there's so many different ways to practice. So I never cu cut myself off from all of it, you know? I went to services last week. It was all musical and I, I got swept away in it. And, you know, like I said, that's the closest, you know, I guess Jewish music is the closest I ever felt to spirituality. You don't have to sign up with another denomination or another title if you don't want to. You can kind of do what you want. There are so many things to try and you should just try what what you want, like what you know in your heart is the right thing to do, which um, is arrogant, but I'm okay with it. I know it's not right to tell little girls to cover up. <laughs> um, yeah, it's arrogant. I'm okay with that. <laughs>